Hey you folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to Let's Play some Grey Goo. This is uh, one of two episodes that we're going to be doing, uh, playing through some of the campaign missions for Grey Goo. Grey Goo is a game by Petroglyph Games, uh, which was not a studio I was necessarily familiar with. I first saw this game at uh, PAX East, and uh, what first caught my attention is when they said that they were the same group of people that used to be part of Westwood and made games like Command and Conquer, which is some of my favorite real-time strategy games of all time. So, really looking forward to dig in here. I've done the first couple of missions, and what I've done is uh, I stopped at the um, at, at the first mission of the campaign that looked like it might start to really shake things up. Obviously, in any real-time strategy game, the very first few missions are, uh, you know, kind of tutorially. So, we are going to go into this mission blind. Uh, there's not going to be too many spoilers involved. Basically, we are playing as the the betas, some sort of alien race species, uh, with some really good sort of facial animation going on there, and uh, an accent I can't quite place. Some of the people sound a little Australian, some of them sound a little Irish, some of them every now and again go into sort of a Japanese accent. It's very, very hard to, uh, to pin down. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we are under attack by something they call the Silent Ones. And in this particular mission, we are going to be trying to dig up some catalyst before we leave the planet, before we abandon the planet on a brand new experimental ship. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. I may have to do, uh, once we get in, I think I'll hit the restart button just so that we get the little, um, uh, the, um, the briefing once more. So establishing position at the quarry. I like the, the user interface, the graphics are nice, the uh, the cutscenes, the pre-rendered stuff has been absolutely quite gorgeous. Um, and uh, yeah, again, I really like the little character stuff, so let me go ahead and just hit a restart on this mission. And we should see little character portraits that slide out of there. It's a little bit different than, um, than the actual pre-rendered screens. But still pretty darn cool. So the betas, with the beta under attack on all sides, they need to activate the Suma, which is our uh, new experimental ship, and leave before they're overwhelmed. However, with the loss of the catalyst supply at the proving facility, all their major catalyst stores are cut off or destroyed. Saruk needs to take control of, of the mines, a K-78, and secure as much catalyst as possible. So here we are. These, I believe, are our mines. Alan You're actually... Saruk, oh, there we go. Voice acting. The oh, there's no actual animation on her face in this screen. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's a damn shame. Into crates as long as you build your refineries there. Once they have three crates, we can call down sky cranes to carry them out. So you got to build refineries on top of special nodes and get three crates of resources. From all reports, the enemy is entrenched in the area. Our secondary objective should be to destroy their base, if we can, but once the crates are collected... See, this is the guy that sounds a little bit more Australian to me. We now have enough sky cranes in your area to support aircraft production. But she doesn't that to me at all. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Why would aliens all have the same accent? I mean, there can be different nations on an alien planet. Seems fair. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... I guess I can't pause. I can pause the structure. So the way you construct in this game is really, really interesting. You've got the menus down here, and actually the hotkey system is quite cool. Q-W-E-R-T, right? The sort of QWERTY type stuff. But then when you open one of these, you've got an extra subgroup of units here with another set of hotkeys. So again, I can hit Q for this group. And then if I want to build a refinery, it's Q again. So the shortcut key for a refinery is Q-Q-Q, which I haven't seen that use of shortcut keys before. Do we actually have a source of fuel here? The answer is not really, do we? We started with a thousand resources. Well, I mean, we'll go ahead and try to drop in our refinery. Oh no, right over here we've got a, uh, a fuel supply. Good, good, good. Okay, you may have noticed right away that unlike uh, some other RTSs you might have played, Every building in your base has to be connected. Now, to a certain extent, that depends on which race you're playing. Right now, we are playing as the betas, and they grow this way. I know that the Grey Goo faction uses a lot of these connectors, and uh, the final faction, which I believe is the Terran one, I don't know exactly how they work yet, because I haven't played them. So there's a lot of these in-game tutorials as you go through the campaign. Just a little hint about how things work. The Depot Hub is an automated mining and delivery system. Build a refinery on the hub, and a portion of the catalyst collected is put in crates for the transport. Filling three crates 
Uh, after filling three crates, a sky crane will collect and deliver them to the requested location. Depot hubs can be re repaired and affected by defensive utility tech upgrades. Cannot be rebuilt. There are three packaging depots in the area. Connect our refineries there so we can ready the catalyst for transport. Oh, I see. Right over here. Extractor complete. Now, can I go ahead and build right away? I don't think that would be a good idea, but we can give it a go anyway. Fill the refinery right there. And I guess we'll do that. I suspect that's a little too forward and we might get under attack. So now that we've got a little bit of uh, resources coming in, let's go ahead and build our first factory. So the factory can build any type of units whatsoever. You can see here right now, uh, because I've got uh, no resources in the bank right now, it's trying to use up to 61 resources per second to build itself, but I have no resources, so it's not going to finish. But every time one of these little harvesters makes a trip from the extractor to the refinery, I will get a chunk of resources, so eventually that'll get built. So there's basically just one building unit, although there is a large factory as well that will build three times as much as many units, so our build units three times as quickly, and hangars for aircrafts well, and repair pads are also the handy. Area. The biggest the thing you can do though to get different there, types so of units is add one transport. of these attachments. They all have to be attached to the same kind of hub, the small hub, medium hub, large hub, or your headquarters over here, which counts as a hub. They all have to be attached to the same one to empower this individual factory to build more stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and wait till that continues to be constructed. Um, actually, what I probably should have done, Refinery. Complete. I was going to say is get the refinery, is pause the uh, the factory, get both refineries online first to try to make money. Um, I'm wondering if it's worth risking building refineries all over. I'm, I am I get, I haven't played this mission, so I'm a little concerned Extractor. that we're just going to get our butt complete. kicked everywhere, but we'll go ahead Factory. and uh, give it a try. So we'll put Beginning you there. You can see this place can't get quite as many minerals per second because Beginning it's a smaller pool of resources. Oh, someone's buzzing by. These are scout airplanes that are checking us out. Um, so QQQ, where's the actual resource on this side? Beginning oh, it's over there. Um, tell you what, I'm gonna sell you back. Now, what you can do is you can hit this button down here, which will toggle the display of resources on the map no matter what. Because this is in the fog of war, I don't think I'll be able to uh, extract any resources from there. Until, um... Until I've got a unit over there to poke through the fog of war. Okay, so resources are in good shape. We're gathering resource crates automatically generated near refineries that you connect to any of the three depot hubs. So we've got two of the depot hubs connected, so we're going to be fine. So we've got a factory. What I'm going to do is build a... Uh, I'm going to get a second factory going, and I'm going to get um, a tank attachment as well. I think that's going to be a relatively good start. I'm going to go ahead and double click on a factory to select both at the same time. Control 1 to set a bit of a hotkey group over here. That way I can select my factories whenever I want and start queuing up units. This one, can, even without the uh, tank attachment, can build both commando units and stalkers. Stalkers are a little bit more expensive and theoretically a little bit more powerful than commandos. Ooh, and theoretically they're better at anti-armor. So I'm going to go ahead and queue a pair of both and we'll just get that going while exactly. under attack. Complete. Oh yeah, over Ooh, here we're being attacked. Well, we're going to go and have to reinforce that as quickly as possible. Tank Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to move my uh, rally hot point there right away for all my new built units. And my factory and my um, tank attachment are done, so I'm going to queue up a bunch of predator tanks over here. They're very good. They can actually uh, fire while they're moving, which is really, really, really handy. Looks like the tower was able to defend itself perfectly fine. I'm actually going to switch the rally point back to that. Um, just because it'll be a little bit more controllable. I like the idea of getting the command over here just to pop the fog of war right there so I can get another refinery going on and another babysitter. Wall under attack. Alright, so our tower should be able to defend itself again over here. And yeah, I've been warned that there might be seismic events and that seems to be going on here. Whoa! Hopefully that's not too terrible. need to finish here before the whole quarry caves in. See to the repairs on any damaged structures, especially the depot hubs. Yep, definitely. I wonder if I should build a, um... Do I need to build a repair pad? Oh, I don't have the tech yet. Run away, run away, run away. Come a little closer, so... There we go. This defense. Now, we can also build actual walls, which is kind of neat, because it is, A, uh, a barricade. But also, once the wall gets built, I can put, um... 
units. I can put these commandos on top of the walls, and they will be able to shoot from a higher location and generally do a lot better. Let's make sure we're uh, still constructing over here. I'm going to keep working on tanks as much as possible. Now, both these factories can build tanks because they're both attached to that tank attachment. I might want to build another hub. Do I want to build it here? Sure. We'll have no trouble getting the catalyst we need. Just another small hub, I think, is going to be fine. Um, and what I'll probably do is just put it's two more factories on there. And I can actually queue them up before oh, everything else is done. So that'll be that's mostly it. infantry. So I got a couple that can build tanks and a couple that can build infantry. Clearly, we're going to have to do a little bit more than that in the long run. But for now, we're going to be okay. Let's go ahead and get a small squad to go and defend this site over here. This wall is done. What I can do on the middle wall is I can actually upgrade it to a gate. And then I can put a fellow on top of the wall, but I obviously need a few more dudes over at this end of things. I'm going to tell these units to go and head over this way. You can see him shooting as he walks. And the tanks can shoot down air units. Some things are ground only, some things are air. We're going to be okay. I can't remember if the predators can be mounted on walls. Oh, clearly they can. So I'm going to go ahead and encourage them to do that. You, I think you can actually set a rally point to a wall. And, um... There you go. Queue up some repair there. Although we still don't have an actual repair unit, so... I'm not sure if it does repair. No, it does. Okay. Next, Earthquake. Caused the core to collapse. Remember to repair our structures on each quake. So every time there's an earthquake, we might be losing some stuff. That's good to know. I'm going to get uh, a medium hub over here. You can see from the preview, it shows you if any of the uh, the build spots aren't going to be functional. I'm going to try to set up so there's just one build spot that's not available. And we'll have it nice on the front. we got our gate here. You, get up on the walls. There we go. Nice. It sort of like integrates itself into the wall to act as a turret system, which is pretty good. See, so yeah, this hotkey system, it's unlike anything I've ever seen in a game, I think, that the way that it works. And I think it's quite cool. It did take a little bit of getting used to. Let's set another squad of soldiers over that way. And then grab our factories and make sure to queue up. Uh, we'll still keep queuing up as many tanks as we can. And then out of these others, we'll get a variety of infantry-type units. And just spam them out like crazy. Now, I don't think I have the ability to build these defensive towers yet. So we're going to try to create another hub that's got some of these things. Probably, um, so the air attachment lets you make anti-air units. What about a hangar? So it looks like we need the hangar to build a repair pad. So over here where we've got this. Oh, cover! Uh, if you've ever played something like League of Legends, the uh, brush works very similarly. While your units are inside cover, no one can, uh, no one can see them. Oh, can't build over here? Maybe it's just too big. For that. Unit ready. Unit in production. Hangar Unit use. Hangar functions as an air factory required to produce and rearm aircraft. The Warbird war and Nimbus requires one open landing pad to build. There are four pads per hangar. All right. Unit ready. So once we get this finished, Unit we'll start putting production. out some air units. I'm going to go ahead out. and drop these guys up Play on the walls. Enemies are increasing their um, their resources. How come we can't uh, shoot that fellow? There we go. Oh, they can actually shoot me from out of range. Aircraft build limits. Right, we can only have four planes. Good to know. Let's go ahead and build some uh, stratus. Those are uh, tracking. We don't want that. We want warbirds. So we still need the air attachment to be able to build. Okay, so there's a repair pad. Um, air attachment to be able to build proper ships. Oh, I can actually squeeze it in there. That's really good to know. And the repair pad, no, it won't be able to fit over here at all. We're going to have to um, find another place to stick all this stuff, but that's going to be okay. Oh, I can't believe these guys can shoot me from out of range. It's really frustrating. So, we've already started to collect some stuff. Destroy the enemy base will also complete the primary. So there's a couple of different ways we can uh, make this work. If we just blow up the enemy, we will just win. But I think here I'm going to focus on... Whoa. Let me get some armies over here. North Depot is below 50% health. No! Oh. Fail. Alright. Let's get a big army in place. Come on, why can't I uh, box select anything? Oh, because I'm on repair mode. Let's cancel that out. You there, come here. Defend this spot. Well, that was a giant fail. I was I was too obsessed with the air units in the south. There 
go. Let's get that going. And there's an earthquake, so everything's going to be damaged a little bit. So let's queue up a bunch of repairs. And let's tell all these guys to get off the wall. Because obviously, they are not able to shoot these things. I don't know why they're not having the range there. Maybe I've got the wrong units mounted on the walls. Or they're just hitting me with more artillery type units and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, so let's queue up a few more repairs. Just try to keep everything up and going here. Since things are taking damage from the earthquakes. Oh, everything takes damage from the earthquakes. More importantly, we don't want anything to uh, die on the next earthquake. That'd be very important. Same thing over here. And there. The Warbird. Did we get our first Warbird? Can fire on air and ground. That sounds pretty handy. There it is, right over here. It's got a limited set of missiles. I wonder if it'll go and uh, refuel. Looks like it can land. Ah, it'll automatically go and land. That's quite cool. Offensive aircrafts have limited ammo. Once depleted, they will automatically return to an air pad slash hangar to rearm. If the target is still visible, the aircraft will automatically return to the target. That's really cool. And we've got a loss of power somewhere. Well, probably over here where everything got blowed up. So we're still collecting catalysts. We should be able to keep the enemy relatively low. We might actually have to mount some uh, some attacks. Um, where's my hotkeys over here? I should queue up a bunch more predators and then a variety of infantry. We'll build up a new um, assault squad and actually try to bring the fight to the enemy if we can. We're still making planes. Yeah, it takes them a while to get built. Unit in production. Got a little bit of ammo there. Unit under attack. Whoa, under attack. I thought these planes could attack the ground. Ready to command. Unit ready. Unit in production. Am I not building... I'm building warbirds. So we can't build any more until we get any additional hangars. Very interesting Whoa, to see. Under attack. And the Nimbus Unit needs artillery. Air artillery. I like the sound of that a lot. So yeah, I'm new to the air units. But... These are the sorts of missions I really like. There's multiple goals. You have to defend. You might want to attack a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring them there. Maybe I'll, I'll set the rally point forward. I'm a little worried about defending my home base. But they're always going to be spawning units over here, so we probably don't have to worry that badly. Uh, we could set up a new hub. Oh, there's a big, nice big attack. Uh, we could set up a new hub to build a few different unit types, and in fact, it might make sense to build some ground-based anti-air units. Oh, there's a large hub over here, too. Let's go ahead and get that going. Um, and then we'll build, um, we'll build a variety of attachments. Oh, is that another earthquake? I think it is. Large hub. Oh, it instantly fell apart from the earthquake. What terrible timing on my part. All right, let's try that again. Um, and we're going to go... We go a large factory on this end for triple the attachments. We'll go and put artillery down. Um, I don't know about stealth. Air and tank. We should be able to get some good things. Tell you what, we'll, we'll drop down a stealth attachment as well and see what kind of stuff we can make out of the large factory. Uh, add you to the queue. There we go, you're on my control group number one, and then we'll just keep spamming out some units over here. And see what we can do. Alright, this is a pretty big squad, more stuff should come. Let's go and reinforce down here, actually, because they might be in trouble. Do I have to tell the planes they're allowed to attack ground, too? Maybe if I auto attack move them? That might work. Meanwhile, big battle going on over here. Now, we only have partial visibility over stuff that's in here. You gotta make sure to keep things in the brush. I think we're going to win the encounter, but it's pretty painful. We're going to knock down their resources a little bit, but I think we've got to go and... Uh... No, their resources are actually going up, so killing their stuff doesn't count as removing their resources? That's not good. Maybe they're just storing things up. Let's go ahead and see what we can see. If we move over here, there's another... Uh, you can see on the mini-map, there's another place of resources. They might be collecting some, some gear over there. Meanwhile, uh, did we finish our new add-ons? Unit in Let's go ahead and uh, drop some Unit repairs here. Oh, they're still Repair. being built. They don't have to be repaired. They're being Unit constructed. Ready. Repair the hub. Repair, Repair that. Alright, all the attachments are being done, but the factory is Repair. not yet complete. Unit okay, that's going to be a hard base to take. I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're mostly going to be concerned about keeping ourselves alive. Check, check. 
Um, let me take this group from here and move them to defend over there. This is a ramp. We should have the high ground if we occupy ourselves right over there. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to keep pumping out units. So what can I build now? Guardian. Defensive turret unit can fire at ground and air. Must be wall mounted to attack. We've got the avalanche, which is a big siege unit. We've got the hailstorm artillery unit. Let's build a couple of those. A couple of cloud bursts for the anti-air. A seeker stealth scout unit. Detects stealth and has brush vision. We'll build one of those and then pump out a ton of other units. Oh, these are earthquakes. Repair, 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 repair. Repair, repair there. What are we at? 26. We're only halfway. It doesn't help, of course, that we lost a base. Now, this catalyst crate will automatically be picked up. I'm pretty sure that's the idea. Unit in production. Wall under attack. Do do do. Can I build any more air units? Unit in production. Oh, needs a hangar. No, no, don't build a scout unit. Unit Actually, don't know how to cancel. Oh, right click. Unit that makes sense. Unit ready. Waiting on you. So I got a hack move. I guess because the uh, planes have limited ammo, that makes some ready. amount of sense. If they have limited ammo, they try not to attack on their own. They want to use... They want to wait until an explicit command comes before they do anything. So we'll keep rallying to the front here. Things are being repaired. Things are slowly being accumulated. We've got another triplicate of catalyst crates that should be getting picked up. Hopefully. Anyway, I'm going to leave... Oh, I was going to say leave the stalker in the brush, but I think we're going to have to pull back. Where's this attack coming? Top or bottom? We could build ourselves a little resource gathering operation right over here, and actually I think that would be a swell idea. As soon as we get another army kind of assembled to the front here, um, I really like the hailstorms. Put a few of those out, max out on predators, and then infantry from the, uh, the remaining dudes. I mean, we're using all our resources as is. Uh, our queues are full. We should probably just build additional um, construction things, but queue up fewer things. I don't know, no. No, no, the rate wouldn't matter. We're, we're capped out. Stealth detection. Yes. Stealth units cannot be seen or attacked without... Ah, nice. So they can attack automatically. It's very nice. Like, they can attack with impunity, rather, I should say. Factory under attack. Unit under this place actually may not get attacked. Under attack. yes. Oh, are we being legitimately attacked down here? Oh, come on. Listen. We'll be able to defend that just fine when the next batch of uh, people pop out of our uh, our factories. There you go. Come on. There you go. Oh, those quakes are bad. Ready. Yeah, what I want to do is move a group of units right attack. here. I think this will actually be the ultimate ready. choke point unit right there. That's where everything seems to go. We can build their defenses there, maybe some walls. So I'm going to keep uh, this ready. infantry going back unit and forth. What's the patrol hotkey? D. Ready. You guys patrol back and forth. Between there and there. Unit under attack. Fire. I'm almost there we go. Move you guys up to the front, and then what we're going to do is build a new hub over here. So we're going to want to go Q... I guess we can try the large hub. Why not? Something like that. I mean, that might be overkill, but... The only thing I always say is there's no such thing as too much overkill. Gonna go put that there. Um, we can have a... Large factory right on the front lines. We'll add it to our selection hotkey. Pull back over here. This might be a decent set, a site for a wall as well. Oh, there's some planes. These guys are actually taking action, though. Clearly, I don't know how the planes work yet. Structures! Um, I will want air. I could build a hangar over here, too. Uh, maybe a repair pad. I don't know. Um, hangar can go there. Beginning construction. I put the air attachment already. Unit Let's ready. go ahead and put in the um, in the artillery so we can get like Unit air artillery going on. That sounds like fun. Have me 
targeted. Unit in production. More tanks. More infantry. I'm not really babysitting my people too, too carefully over here. There we go. We got a nice attack squad. We could try to bring the fight to them once more. I mean, we're obviously going to get artillerized to hell and back. Where's my planes? Alright, everyone go kill that. Then that, then that, then that. I'm going to set up some Q commands just to make sure that the focus fire is happening and hopefully we can power through this relatively well. Also, they're going to focus way too much energy on killing the walls if I just attack all of them. On the other hand, I've got my scout over here. Seismic event is imminent. Hopefully I repaired things enough that nothing will be destroyed. It looks like it'll probably be okay here. Uh, that is a giant base. And we're currently low on resources. Luckily, none of my stuff that's under construction uh, went and destroyed itself. It'll be nice. Yeah, now that we've got our extractor coming through here, it'll help us out a little bit. Kill that. And then we're just going to hang out on the high ground. We can indirect fire that guy, right? There we go. And as long as we hang around on the high ground, we can keep shooting these guys with impunity as they come and take my bases, which is very, very nice. Can I move my scout in anywhere? Mm, looks like maybe not. No, you guys, I want you to hold position, actually. Uh, guard this area. Artillery attachment complete. Hold ground. Ready. There we go. That's the actual Unit command I'm looking attack. for. Unit in production. All right, we've got some Unit stuff going on there, but we're okay. What are we at? 38 of 45. We should be able to complete this relatively soon. Kind of getting chaotic, but that's uh, that can be a lot of fun. Uh, am I worried about the next earthquake? Do I want to repair things? Well, I should probably repair the repair. large hub actually, large factory complete. and the refineries. Repair. Oh, we actually lost our hub over here. Tell you what then, let me just sell these two factories. I'm not feeling the need to rebuild them. Oh, these things crawl around are really cool. Look at that. And yeah, we're just here giving people a hard time. You are out of ammo. Why don't you go and uh, dock yourself? Please and thank you. So I think we should move our choke point actually a little further ahead so no one can get through over here. I'm going to put my rally point right there. I could even build walls up here. I know I just said that, but sometimes it bears repeating. Um, yeah, I'm just going to hang out right here. And other than that, keep building units. Yeah, we don't have as many uh, production sites online anymore, but that's okay. We can build uh, quite a lot of good stuff right from the front in this large factory. And that's going to cut down on the walking a little bit, so that's okay. Not like we had unlimited energy anyway. By the way, you can increase the uh, maximum resources that you can have in your bank if you build silos. I haven't really uh, gotten around to doing that very often just because I mostly overspend all the things, but it's definitely an option. Next earthquake is coming up now. As long as we don't lose our little hubs, we should be okay. Let's make sure to put a little repair instruction on some of this stuff. I mean, based on what I can tell, we won't lose it. Looks like this meter here shows you how many resources are left in the uh, in the stockpile. Um, yeah, I can't fit the repair pad. Repairs allied units on the ground. It's kind of handy. It's like a, a medic that doesn't move. So you got to leave it in the, you know that particular spot, but you can always reinforce your units by doing that. Uh, I feel like I've got lots of uh, artillery right now, and especially given the fact that, you know, my energy keeps popping down, I'm going to mostly focus on putting out lots and lots of infantry. They spam out pretty quickly, so I think that's going to be okay. And there we go. This looks like a pretty good choke point. I'm not going to go and assault the enemy base. If I were a better player, if I'd had more experience in this game, I bet you that would be a cool little challenge. Maybe get some little achievements or something. Um, but as is, we're going to leave it be. I'm going to move these guys a little further forward and then tell them to hold ground once more. If we can get rid of all these fences, we might be in a good position to attack. Only need one more catalyst to win, which should not take long. Although I think that um, they require that you get your catalysts three at a time, so I don't think it's just a matter of collecting the next thing. We are... Are we actually being attacked under there? Yeah, we are. Come back over here. Focus fire. Focus fire. Not leaving enough garrisons at home. 
Luckily, the, the warnings are useful. Seeing the little red bips on the map are useful. Oh, plane tried to sneak by us or something. Let's go ahead and uh, make a wider line here just to make sure we keep blocking this off. Luckily, on this map, they all seem to be coming from the same place. The last uh, mission I played, the enemy had like three bases all over the place that were all summoning units, and it was pretty, pretty tough to keep them under control. We can finish refining it there before moving it to the sumer. All right, mission complete, you guys. Boom, boom, boom. Operation success. All right, that's a less sexy way to say a mission complete. If you want to be like that, that's fine. So we might get another uh, full rendered cutscene. Yeah, there we go. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, this guy's got a grim face. I understand his his whole planet is being destroyed by you know a race of silent ones, whatever that is. I can understand why he'd be a little bit upset. I like their teeth. Pay attention if they uh, if they start talking, watch their teeth. Apparently, no one's going to talk. They're just going to poke at the dead body, and reveal the helmet. <gasps> what the hell is this Lean. thing? Inform Baka that whatever we're fighting, it's not the silent ones. Saruk, how can you be so sure? God, they're Sir, ugly. I mean, I'll this dead guy on the ground. Prisoner, it's unlike anything we've encountered before. Bring it to Central. The Council can decide what it There's is. There's no time. While our forces are evacuating the population, this enemy is draining the catalyst field. Sir, we have received reports God, these of guys have really tiny ears. Terminal. We need to That's change all I can see our now. tactics. It's a catalyst they want. I have to confirm with you, Lairams. Stand by for orders. Who to thunk? Whatever you are. Humans going to an alien planet to try to strip it of resources. Our future. I love the skin texture on these guys. I don't know. The, whatever artists got involved in making those 3D screen scenes, they are, like, really, really good. Uh, this bothers me that it tells me that I have that incomplete objective. I, I, like, I'm tempted to have to go back and actually conquer the base. So, yeah, apparently we've been fighting this Redgrave guy. What is that? So that is our, our first mission, the, uh, the first of two videos, sponsored videos, we're going to be doing for Grey Goo. Stay tuned. I'll be back with the next mission in uh in the next video see you folks bye bye